So we would like to find the angle, or rather the cosine of the angle between the vectors 1, 2, negative 1, and 2, 1, 1. We're going to use the notion of um, dot product in order to do so. First of all, let's explain what we mean by the angle between two vectors. So imagine that you have two vectors. Let's say here's the vector u. Uh, actually, a representative of the vector u. Remember that the vector can have its initial point at any point, pretty much. But what we do when we want to uh, visualize uh, the angle between two vectors is we make them originate at the same point. So this can always be done. And two angles are formed, one which is less than or equal to 180 degrees, meaning pi, and one which is greater than or equal to 180 degrees. The angle between the two vectors is always taken to be uh, the smaller of the two. Of course, there is an extreme case in which the angles are the same. Both of them are 180. So the angle between two vectors, um, two non-zero vectors, if one of the vectors is zero, then there is no uh, angle that is formed, is between uh, zero and pi. So the cosine of the angle will be between uh, one and negative one. Now, the dot product between two vectors uh, is given by two different formulas. It's a number. And let's present these two formulas. The first one is really simple for computational purposes. So it's u1 v1 plus u2 v2 plus u3 v3. These are the coordinates of the vectors. So um, we just need to multiply the uh, corresponding coordinates and add up all the products. So that's something very simple to be done. We will do it for this particular example. The second one is actually more revealing about the nature of the dot product. It's the product of the magnitudes times the cosine of the angle between them. So for computations, we always use this formula. But what is kind of interesting is that once we use this formula in order to compute the dot product between two vectors, uh, we can actually solve for cosine theta, the second formula. And this gives us that the cosine of the angle between two vectors is equal to the dot product of the two vectors divided by the product of the magnitudes. And this is precisely the formula that we would like to use. Uh, you can see that uh, for two vectors whose coordinates are given, using this formula is quite straightforward. And that's what we're going to show now for this particular exercise. So here's the solution. First of all, remember that the vectors are uh, 1 to negative 1, and v is 2, 1, 1. To understand how the dot product works, schematically, basically, we need to take the product of these two numbers, the product of these two numbers, the product of these two numbers, and add up all those products. So let's do it. So u dot v is going to be 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1 plus negative 1 times 1, which is equal to 3. Uh, how about the magnitudes? The magnitude of the first product, the length of the first product, is square root of 1 square plus 2 square plus negative 1 square, which is square root of 6. The magnitude of the second uh, vector is uh, 2 square, square root of 2 square plus 1 square plus 1 square, also square root of 6. So now if we apply the formula that we just gave, we will get that um, the cosine will be 3 over square root of 6 times square root of 6 
which is 3 over square over square root of 6 squared, which is 3 over 6, which is 1 half. Usually, uh, we will stop right here, unless we use uh, the inverse cosine function through a calculator, we cannot really approximate the angle or estimate the angle. But in this particular case, uh, we have a very uh, specific, a very characteristic cosine, which is one half. Uh, one half is the cosine that corresponds to the angle theta is equal to pi over three. So even though we're not going to, even though it was not asked of us to find the angle, in this particular case, we can actually uh, specify what the angle is. It's pi over three. However, what was had been asked of, of us was to find the cosine, which is what had been accomplished by this point. And that's all. Uh, thanks for watching.